Moreland's Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society. We're going to pause there just for a second uh, because I can tell you that Dave Stringer is now in conversation with Liam Buckley. Hi Liam, good to see you. Good to see you again. We didn't really get a chance to say congratulations at the end of last season when you won our uh, award for player of the, the season. Oh, no, I, I should be saying thank you to you. Lot. I appreciate it, thank you very much. Well, we were in good company, weren't we, choosing you? Because you, uh, you got a raft of awards at the Northern Premier League uh, annual general meeting. Yeah, no, I was, I was buzzing to be fair with all, with all that. Well, not just me, but the team choosing last season. And for me to win that, at the end of the season, it just tipped it off really, so I was buzzing. So just tell, remind everybody, what were you, what awards did you get? Moreland's player, manager's player, rising star. And that's the rising star is for the whole of the yeah. Northern Premier League. Yeah. So that was a, a real thing. Have you, and I, I have already asked you informally, have you got a, a nice trophy cabinet at home? <laughs> yeah, I've had my dad knocking some out, some of it for us, but no. But no, I was, like I said, when I, I didn't expect that at all, I, but I'll take it nevertheless. So what's your post-season been like? Two weeks in now, I've done, done very well. Like we've, I think because we got sent some stuff like to do in the off-season to keep, to keep us ticking over and you can tell that the lads have been sticking to that, so we've come in and we're just ready to go really. So what's your reaction been to the outgoings, because a number of the players are key to the the winning of the league last year have made their way to other clubs. Yeah, no, I, obviously I, I, I'd have loved them to stay the key, key players that have left that, but, that played a big part. But I think with the lads that we brought in, they're more than capable to fit, fit right in. But I can understand why some people have left for a certain number of reasons. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure the lads that we brought in can definitely do a job. And uh, Josh has brought a lot of players in as well, hasn't he? I think he's brought quality in. Oh, some, some outstanding players. I think you've seen that today. Like, like once we've made them changes, like nothing, nothing, nothing changed at all. Everyone's banged on. So yeah, it shows. Your career, you obviously came from uh, 1874 North, which didn't you? It's a, a shame really for 1874 because the whole side broke up, didn't it? Mm. Yeah, it was, it, was sad, it was sad to see, to be fair. I, I, when when the league came in for me, I was, I was sold really. I just, I just wanted to come straight here. But after I left and I saw like a few other people leaving, I looked, weren't great to see because obviously like I'm, I'm from that way. But and we and we had a, an half decent season. It was we had we had some good games. But you know, we weren't great to see. But I just wish them wish them all the best. And of course, you you did have a spell in Wales, didn't you? Playing in Welsh uh, Welsh football. Yeah. Um, what was the standard of that like? Some very, some very good teams, especially the likes of like your, your TNSs. I, but it was, I was young at the time, and I think stepping in straight and thrown in the deep end really. I think it was did me a world of good. Just a big introduction to men's football, and that's, that's why I'm here now really. Which which team were you with? A team called Kevin Druid. Kevin Druid, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, I was uh, trying to remember. <laughs> so, um, so you've been in Welsh Premier football. You. Uh, 1874 sort of grounded yourself and then of course you you won the league last year so you stepped up and stepped up and stepped up and this this season is a, another big step up for you isn't it yeah no definitely and I think we're all ready for it and uh, we're gonna have a right good go at it what is the is the feeling in the camp really yeah we're confident we you know we can be halfway or we'll finish just for relegation or what yeah. is the feeling yeah the, the, we've got we've got goals i think every team in this league is going to have the same goal but you've got to be like realistic in a way but i, th I think with the team that we've got we're definitely gonna have a right good go at this league and so do you reckon what would you if, where would you be satisfied if, if, if we spoke in 12 months time and we look back on 20 24 25 what would be your, you know, what would be your satisfying say? Yeah, that that's okay. Uh, obviously, t uh, obviously, I want us to all play well. I want us to all have a very good season. Whether that whether that from, from finishes tenth, puts us in the playoffs, win the league. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's we'd we'd take whatever, but we're gonna have. And I just know that we're gonna have a right good go because we don't know what, like I said, what the other teams are gonna be like. But I think today playing a team like higher up, that's put us in a right good stead and a good. I'll win to see, see what it's like. 
how did you feel you went on today personally? Yeah, it was, it was tough, like, don't get me wrong, but the, the full time, so they, but uh, fitness wise, I don't think, I don't think they were my, miles fitter than us, like, I don't think we made a show of ourselves, but like, it's like little little quality bits, you know what I mean, little movements and stuff like that, but yeah, I think, I think it was pretty good, yeah. So, you, you finished last season, you've come back to your pre-season now, you managed to have a holiday, you managed to yeah. do anything in, in between? Yeah, no, no, I've been away, yeah, definitely. I've been, um, well, I went, uh, went away with the missus, Tenerife, and uh, just got back from Barcelona about three, three weeks ago, so that's nice. So you're not worn yourself out <laughs> too much then? No, I definitely, I definitely stay, stay, stay on top and stuff, so. <laughs> but no, it's good, Need, m- m- much needed to be fair, but yeah, that's it. The great thing is, you've really kept a lot of what was last year's defence, haven't you? Yeah. Louis Keenan has gone, but you know you've kept a, a great lot of that, and that really is is good for you, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, like we, we've got we've got a good understanding like at the back, especially last year. Like we, we knew enough every game, every minute we were all together, but like you knew enough. You know what I mean? So I think coming into this season, like. Having having done that last year and all played together, we've all got like a, an understanding. Obviously, with Keenan going, but I think if we can keep the same roughly in and out, do you know what I mean? It's, it's it, it, it do us it do us nothing but good. So. And what's it like playing in front of Dino Vissa? It's a gemini. You know what I mean? <laughs> when he pulls things off like that, like he's done today, it's, it's always good to laugh behind you. But no, he's um, he's a good one, like Dino. He's funny, but. And you, you got an option at the end of last season. Was it an option, or had you signed already for no, two seasons? It not, there, was, there was an option, it was, um, and we, we spoke before the end of the season. And I, I made it clear like, what I wanted to be here. And then, like, what, while we've been away, uh, while, while, while I was working in the off season, like, we just kind of having chats and talking and stuff like that. And I was never going to go elsewhere. So, yeah. And long may that, uh, <laughs> long may that be <laughs> the same. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much for your time. Ah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for that. Been really good. That is certainly.